Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the XD3000 HDMI Signal Manager. This product was engineered to make it very easy for you to match the output resolution and feature sets of your newer 4K media devices with your older 1080p monitors. The product will automatically downscale that 4K content to accommodate those older monitors while enabling HDCP 2.3 copy protection so you can enjoy all of your copy protected content on the same monitors. Now as part of this overview, I'll start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the XD3000, explain the connections and indicators, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and actually demonstrate just how simple it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the XD3000 signal manager. You'll find a power cable. Now, it can be powered over an HDMI connection as well, but if you need additional power, you can plug this end, which is micro USB, into the back of the unit. The other end is a USB-A connection that can plug into a computer, a media device, or any standard USB wall charger. Also included with the kit is a sticky pad. You can use that to attach this product to the back of your monitor. And then finally, a full instruction manual that explains connection diagrams, specifications, and other things you'll need to understand about the product to use it correctly. Now stay tuned, and next we'll take a closer look at the unit, and then I'll come back with the features and functions. Inside the kit, you'll find the XD3000 HDMI Signal Manager, a really nice sticky pad here that's got a Velcro attachment where you can use it to attach this to the media device or the back of your monitor and remove it easily if needed. You'll also find a power cable. Now the unit can be powered through the HDMI cable if power is available through that cable, but if you need external power, you can use this cable. The one end has a micro USB connection on it, which plugs into the side of the unit. The other end of the cable has a USB-A connection on it. You can plug this into any available USB-A port on your monitor or your media device to provide power to the unit. You'll also find a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other information you'll need to understand about the unit to use it correctly. Now we'll take a closer look at the XD3000. This features a full metal enclosure, which makes the unit very durable and also helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the one end, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit through the HDMI cable or the external power connection, the unit starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics, checking the resolution of the media device and the monitor. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the unit's ready to use. To the right of that is a micro USB port that's used with the included cable for external power if needed. To the right of that is an HDMI input port and that connects between the device and your media device that you'd like to pass the content through. On the other end of the device, you'll find another HDMI port. That's an output port and that connects to your monitor. On the far right, you'll find a switch that's the 4K downscaling switch. If you're just gonna pass 4K content through the device to take advantage of the HDCP 2.3 compliance, you can leave this in the off position. But if you also need to downscale that content from 4K to 1080p, you'll flip this to the left and that'll actually enable that downscaling with this device. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The O-Ray XD3000 is compatible with a wide array of modern media devices, including digital projectors, laptops, game consoles, streaming devices like Apple TV, and digital video recorders. The product features include full support of ultra high definition 4K media content. It is both HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.3 compliant. It can automatically downscale to 1080p resolution. It provides 4K transmissions up to 10 meters in distance and can be powered through an HDMI connection or an external power supply. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the XD3000 with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, I've set up a Roku player right over here that's currently outputting 4K content. Over here I have a monitor that can only display 1080p content and it's also not HDCP compliant. I have the XD3000 right here. Now the first connection I'll make is from the monitor directly to the Roku just to show you that the monitor cannot display 4K content and also is not HDCP compliant. I've got a cable connected to the monitor and I'll plug that in directly to the output of the Roku. It'll take a second. Now the Roku is a smart device. When you first connect the display up to it, it's going to make an adjustment to the resolution to show you a picture. But I've gone into the display settings on the Roku just to show you if I try to force this as a 4K 60 Hertz monitor, which is going to force this to output the 4K content. I'll tap that. It'll start. You can see that it won't display 4K and it's not HDCP 2.2 compliant. Now the XD3000 is going to do two things. 
It's going to convert the 4K content to 1080p content. It's also going to enable the HDCP copy protection. So I'll make the connections to the XD3000 now. I'll start by connecting the monitor to the output port. I'll use a second cable to connect the output of the Roku to the input port on the unit. And then finally, I'll add power. I've already plugged in a USB-A cable to the side of the Roku. This end has a micro USB connection on it and I'll plug that into the XD3000. Now the minute I do that, it's already starting a power on self-test where it's checking the resolution of this device and the output resolution of the monitor, and we're all set and ready to go. Now I'll rerun that test, and you'll find pretty quickly that it still can't display 4K, but it now can display HDCP 2.2 compliant content. I've already got the switch on here that will downscale the 4K content to 1080p over here, and it enables that HDCP capability so you can actually watch copy protected content from here on a monitor that couldn't do that before. So the XD3000 does a few things for you pretty quickly. It makes your newer 4K content devices compatible with older monitors while enabling that HDCP 2.3 compliant uh, ability to be able to display that copy protected content. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray XD3000 HDMI Signal Manager helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to match the output resolution of your newer 4K media devices with the input resolution of your older 1080p monitors. It also enables HDCP 2.3 copy protection, which means you can enjoy all of your copy protected content on your older monitors. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Thank you.